into here. Now I'm just gonna set the bottom of the paper to. Keep that running straight. If you find that paper is overlapping at the bottom, don't twist the paper, just let it run straight. You can cut this away if needed, but your paper needs to run vertically. Don't twist it because you'll have to twist the next length to meet this and your paper won't be level. When I get into corners, I tend to use the cloth to push the paper into corners. So I don't tear the paper with the edge of this corker. And as you're using a damp cloth, it makes the paper slightly damp, slightly more easy to push into corners. Okay, so now we have our first cut, which we have a windowsill. So don't be frightened of sticking the paper to the wall, pulling it back again. I've sealed this wall, the paste isn't gonna dry instantly. It's gonna stay wet for quite a long time, stay workable, that's the whole point. If we hadn't have prepared this wall, chances are, paper and paste hit it, it starts to dry. You can't pull it up, it starts to stick already. You're losing paste. So this is our window sill. We need to cut around the sill. So what we do is find where our window sill is on the wall. And I've made a mark with the scissors. So I can see that mark, you probably can't see on the video, but I've made a little indentation with the tip of my scissors where the sill meets the wall. I just pull that away and make a vertical cut up to that mark. Then we need to just make two more diagonal cuts to each corner of the sill. So that's where the corner of my sill is. So I've made three cuts there around the sill and then just ease it around. Sometimes you can make more than three cuts, you can make as many as you like, just to ease it around the curve. So there we go. Next step, with our corker and our blade, is to make our cuts. So just carefully, gently, cut along the top of the sill there, cut around the curve. Take your time with a very sharp blade, underneath and this cut here just goes up to just slightly past where our window reveal is so that will just release the paper here and then back to the top now here where our reveal is just put your knife tip into the corner puncture the paper and then just run your blade parallel to the reveal there. Put it up against the wall and run it parallel. Then with your sponge, just push the paper around the corner. You can use a paper, a wallpapering brush to do the same thing. Push it around, you've got no problems using the brush as hard as you like because you're not gonna damage the paper. There we go, that's the first step. 